Hey, you favored ones. Welcome back to another collective reading. Come on in and take a seat at the round table. For any of you, of you that are interested, you may throw a couple of coins in the wishing well. And we'll get started into it. So for anyone who is new, and wel welcome in. And for any of those who are returning, I appreciate your love and support. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's been having a good weekend and enjoying themselves. Uh, before uh, Over in this corner of YouTube, I like to do something called Welcoming in Utopia or Welcoming Utopia, whichever way you feel comfortable saying. And it's where you just sit in the energy of what your personal international galactic dimensional utopia would look like and try and like find that uh, frequency of relief uh, before going into uh, with higher energy before going into the reading so for any of you who are returning thank you and I'll get into the uh, downloads here so I was ta been tapping a lot lately uh, some of you may have been tapping and I felt like um, EFT tapping and that's like tapping on acupuncture points acupuncture and um, it's supposed to help improve performance lessen cravings resolve fears uh, and anxieties uh, and it's tapping on different uh, acupuncture points uh, some of you may do acupuncture or going to for treatment for that. Also got rolfing, uh, Reiki, and reflex, uh, reflexology as well. Um, so yeah, I had that. You might be looking into that. Maybe you want to look into that. It's EFT tapping and just look it up and see which one pertains to you. Maybe you want to look into it and explore that more. Um, it was just a download that came through. So some of you may do that often. That might be a practice you already have within your routine. Uh, maybe just doing it intuitively at this time and like, uh, you know, tapping certain parts of like your face when you're like waiting and stuff. Um, you know, it brings to mind Winnie the Pooh, think, think, think um, sort of situation. Uh, so I have wrote in down here, wrote in down, written down here, uh, red cabbages and beets because I like stained my hands and I was like, that's a, you know, not everything's a sign, but I'm taking it as one. Uh, some of you uh, are working on doing, working with your harvest and putting everything together with canning foods. Uh, cause I got like beets and red cabbage and pickles and stuff like that. A lot of you could be, uh, incorporating, uh, uh, pro probiotics. I kept wanting to say antibiotics. I'm like, but they're not antibiotics they're probiotics. So a lot of you could be incorporating probiotics, uh, balancing your pH levels. Uh, by intaking more of a obviously balanced diet. So uh, I also got from that the download that uh, a feeling that you're it's a play on words of like you're on a roll with your beats. Those who are uh, who are musicians and musical lyric uh, lyrical writers. Uh, at this time, you were on a roll with getting your beats done. If you were a producer, you were on a roll at this time, and you were, like, getting those beats. Uh, you're raking it in, like, with the harvest. So you're really harvesting um, those seeds that you ha have turned into abundance for you at this time, whether it's um, – appreciation for uh, those who are around you when times get bad uh, and you're not at 100 percent and that's okay everyone's at different levels each day and you did your best and your best looks different every day 
So yeah, you're on a roll with that. I also heard that uh, acceptance to school, some of you are uh, completing your acceptance exam and have been accepted into a enrollment. Uh, congratulations, everyone who's like just getting those wins whatever way you can. Um, and redefining what success is for you as well. Uh, success can be learning how to create a daily routine and sticking to it. Uh, success can be going to bed at a certain time. Success can be making sure that you get enough water in your life, quench if you quench break, and you know making sure that you're stretching more. Um, going like fitting into a routine so yeah um, I also heard don't hold back and they brought um, two different stories from my life as an examples of like uh, they brought to mind um, of like when I like had hold back on my own power and of course it was physical power, but I think it's in all ways. I uh, feel for some of you is holding back on your power. You, some of you may be a belt singer and you may be holding back on that. Some of you may be really good with screamo uh, vocals. Um, I just feel like you're holding back a little bit. Some of you might want to do opera and you're worried about whether or not uh, it's too late. It's not too late. Um, but inside of the story, I was inside of, uh, some of you are really natural. You will find that you are natural at something that you wanted to start and you're hesitating and you're not sure whether or not you should start. Um, this is a uh, confirmation to get the ball rolling on that. Um, because you're going to find out that you are a natural at it and it's totally what you were meant to be doing. Um, but yeah, when I first enrolled into Taekwondo when I was younger, I went to enrollment and like acceptance where they like have the class and you practice and see where you are and whether or not they want to place you. And when I first went there to practice, you know, for enrollment admission and to, for, and I had started in the positions and the instructor was like, have you ever took classes before? And I was like, no. And he was like, your stance is really, you know, uh, you're a natural at this. You have a really great stance and posture and your center of gravity is, you know, on point. Uh, so that was really cool to hear. And I feel like that's going to be a situation with you. You may notice as soon as you go on stage, you just feel like, that's where you've always meant to be. Or you have a Reiki session with someone and they show how grateful they are. Or you do, um, you know, you do a promotion and uh, do a graphic design. Whatever it is that you are wanting to do, um, sell a book. Uh, you're going to notice when you, like, put out your book, there's going to be people who are appreciated that you're doing poetry, appreciated that you put it out there so they have someone to relate to, and they'll be grateful, and I feel like you'll be grateful of yourself as well. Um, I really feel like your inner child's going to be shining through. And the second story was when I had my first... Uh, test and I was going to go up a couple of belts because of how well I was doing and uh, I had to kick the boards and when I was doing it I was so powerful and it's this is gonna be relevant for you I feel some of my collective most definitely is that you were so powerful that you were able to hold back because I went to go kick a couple of times and it didn't break and I thought I couldn't do it right and he and my sensei got it close to me and he was like I know you can do this I need you to stop holding back I'm like but I didn't break it and he's like you're stopping your foot right before the board because you have such control over it even though you think you don't have control over it, you really do. And I feel like a lot of you may feel like you don't have control or, or are as strong in some of your Claire um, gifts 
uh, that you're way more natural at it than you would expect. Um, after he told me that, he's like, I want you to switch and use your other foot, the one that I had less control over. Um, and he's like, and I'm going to add a board just to prove a point. And I was like, but I was only supposed to break one. So he first another board behind, and I ended up breaking it on for the first kick because I didn't have as much control, but I still had the same amount of power. So some of you may be learning to move into another thing that another talent that you may not have as much control over but it doesn't mean that you're not as powerful so let's say you're used to being a dancer and you or a dj and you're good at scratching you're good at mixing and you're afraid that you might not be really good at being a producer because you don't have as much control, because you're not as experienced and as practiced, and you're feeling like, you know, but you're just as powerful at it. You're just as talented at it. Yeah, it's what I feel like is going to happen for you. Like if you're used to be a dancer, but now you want to be a singer, but you need vocal lessons, you know, um, something of that is uh, uh, along those lines. Let's say you used to be a chef. But now you want to be a an uh, an author. Uh, like these are just examples. But you know, moving on to something else, and you feel like you really found your niche where you're really powerful and you had a lot of control. But it really just did, is not igniting that spark within you. So you're moving on to that next thing that really lights a fire in you. And yeah, so you're you're going to find out that you're really more of a natural at it than you expect. A little unpracticed? Absolutely. You have no experience. Why are you expecting yourself to have three years experience, a diploma, and never worked a day in your life? It sounds like one of those unreasonable um, uh, listings for jobs where they're like, you have to have a certification and 10 years experience, but just straight out. I feel like you're going to ease into it. And yeah, it's going to be a little, uns you know, a little off putting, but I feel like you'll wade yourself into it. Like when you're entering the the ocean and stuff like that and it's a little cold but as you get in and you get a little bit cold a little bit in at a time you can do that you don't have to jump in and dunk yourself like some people do um for some people that's their approach but not everyone takes that approach and that's okay you're okay to take your own approach um, and the last and not least, of course, it was 555 while I was doing all that is 557 here and now. Um, so yeah, I have Master Builders uh, 33 and building stuff because this uh, weekend I was helping my partner with his uh, toolbox kits and setting up for at work and uh, yeah so some of you may be getting tool allowances some of you may be getting new equipment is what a, a like um, a lamp or a new microphone um, new DJ uh, equipment scratching at mixed dexes and uh, you know sound equipment uh, so you may be getting new um, steering wheels and like new battery packs for your cars uh, so you it's gonna be different for all of you is what I'm saying is like I feel like you're getting new equipment it could be mixed you know boxing gloves even um, but yeah I also get that your master builders a lot of you where you may have been in like are moving on to building things some of you could be carpentry uh, you can be moving on that shift maybe from going and working for a company and now you're working for yourself instead where you have a bit more or less control on when you're going to get paid, but you have so much more power over your own life. You know what I mean? Like you're starting your own business. So whereas before you may have worked at a job and 
you didn't have as much control over when you would be working, when they would need you, all that kind of stuff. But it was consistent pay. But now you have more, now that you've moved on to being your own boss, um, you have all that power and you do have the control. It's just easing into it and finding that new routine. Um, that's really cool. You could be working on building stages, like you could build up and tear down stages, like for music industry as well, or just like in general, um, like floors, like installation and stuff like that. Dun, 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 dun. Can we get some messages for my lovely favored ones, these spirit guides, guardians? <laughs> The Empress energy. Yes, sitting within all that you have in abundance. Yeah, yeah you're sitting pretty at this time. Whenever I see this card, because of one reading, the personal reading that I gave to a friend, where it fell on the ground, and it's like the Empress energy, uh, is very grounding. You're grounding yourself within your own energy at this time. A lot of you could be uh, grounding up your own stuff. Yeah, a lot of you could be ground grinding up herbs at this time. And like making like magic like wands or like crowns with like crystal wrappings. Uh, like grinding up herbs to put in like potions or elixirs or like um, self love uh, um, jars and like protection jars. Some of you could be doing ritual jars. So yeah, yeah. Some of you could, uh, oh, some of you may do photo shoots or create your own um, your own outfits. Some of you may create your own outfits. A lot of you could relate to uh, Delphine, the story with Delphine who turned into a tree. So yeah, some of you may uh, resonate with tree spirits at this time. Some of you may uh, converse with the trees at this time in order to ground yourself or whispering your wishes to the trees. And it's bringing in a flow of abundance. I love that it's the number three, two, right after the master number 33. And it's number three again. So three, 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 most definitely significant um, coming up around for you at this time. Um, you can have a, a show or something really important or you're going to school in March with the three being there because March with the three. Um, so you may have someone who uh, be Pisces with them with three with March. Some of you may uh, prefer tequila or like uh, karaoke. Uh, yeah, some of you really, really enjoy karaoke because that's what like. Because there's literally hardly any uh, lyrics. A lot of people, when they get stuck going up to karaoke and don't enjoy it, they usually pick 
tequila la bama la la na 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 da 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 na 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 some of you might play the uh the um the saxophone and the trumpet as well Some of you might like watching the sound uh, that like Bigfoot because it brings up this uh, the sax squanch as well. So yeah, some of you might like um, enjoy karaoke. If you enjoy karaoke, let me know what your favorite song to do uh, during karaoke is below. Or just your favorite song in general if you don't do karaoke, the, whichever one you karaoke to at home, to your cats or whatever. You get messages, please, for the spirits. Thank you. Yeah, reconnecting with what made you happy when you were younger. Some of you may be reconnecting with uh, friends that you knew from when you were younger. You might be having a school reunion coming up. Or you're getting reunited with one of your kids if some of you went through a custody battle or with um, Child Protective Services. Uh, you're getting visitation, more visitation going on and within your life. Or if this is like a baby daddy situation, then like you're, it looks like you're getting more time is what, it, what I'm seeing here is that it's going smoother for, for the case for the kid, especially with the Empress energy, you'll be able to provide for them. Like it could, it could be either one, but if like, it doesn't just have to be baby daddy, like it could be a situation where you're co-parenting. Uh, it looks like it's starting to go better for you in regards to those who do have children and are in a um, third party situation with their kids for whatever reason where the care is with another guardian involved or um, the system. Uh, it looks like it's getting better uh, or you're reuniting with someone who maybe when you were in foster care as well. Uh, Because I know that some people stay in touch with um, with them after they move out and stuff. Okay, is there still a message with that or is it just stuck in my head now? Because you can get rid of it, please, spirit. Yeah, some of you are working on your sobriety and still going out as well. <laughs> the emperor fell on the floor. So I feel like a lot of your partners are willing to get down and into the to the dirt with you and really build their way up. Some of you have had uh, a relationship where it started you know, where you didn't have much and now you're working your way towards the top together, uh, taking turns, taking care of each other, whether this is a business partner, a best friend, uh, you know, um, a collaborator of sorts. Um, they're willing to, to make it through with you from the bottom all the way to the top. You know how there's like some people who aren't meant to go with you to the top. I feel like you have found some some decent, yeah, I'm getting like air bubbles of confirmation. Some of you may get air bubbles and like have Claire Gustus where you get like bubbles and like different flavors and stuff from your like stomach when, um, when you have confirmation. So whoever has that, that's extra confirmation for you. That's not normally the way it comes for me. Um, Maybe it is. Maybe that's one of the ones I'm not recognizing and I'm holding back. These readings are for me too sometimes, you know. Um, 
It is collective. Yeah, uh, some of you may be hired on as a staff because there's lots of staff going on. Some of you may be hiring staff to help you with your work. Like, let's say, like, um, hiring someone to do video editing for you because you don't want to go through, like, um, I know some ASMR um, artists uh, get a editor to go through and do everything so that they only have to worry about filming. Uh, that's just an example. You can print it where it pertains, but I feel like you're getting more staff. Uh, a lot of you could be uh, understaffed at this time or just looking for work. Um, I feel like, the, um, yes, yeah, so there's going to be staff hired on at this time. And also this like the staff is like reminds me of the council of like staff so I feel like your guides are really helping you from behind the scenes at this time and they would like you to ask for more help um affirmations like show me how good it gets universe or um how could I have fun today at, like how can I have more fun in my life Hey universe, can you bring more fun into my life? Can you bring more times where I'm laughing and healing? Yes, it also feels like not only will you have emotional and financial abundance, but I feel like you'll um, it will be sustainable as well with the emperor. Yeah, one. Oh, <laughs> that's the book. <laughs> um, can we get one card of Oracle for my favorite ones? A message before we head her off here. Oh, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I feel like you pop, pop. You get it popping. You're building a community. Uh, cause the uh, pop pop reminds me of the show, uh, TV show community. Um, some of you may be going to back, like I said already, extra school confirmation, um, upgrading, uh, you could be doing some upgrading. You may be just taking a course at the local college so that you're not taking a whole thing. Some of you may just be upgrading your classes, like, uh, first aid as well. That's like something that would be. Um, yeah, just updating your course, updating, getting an update on a course is what I'm hearing. Um, <clears throat> like, uh, for, like, your, uh, pro serve for, like, being able to, your liquor license, getting that updated as well. Some of you may work as a bartender or, uh, that's also legal work I said earlier too some of you maybe uh, do legal work or a lawyer as well if you're you re reunite people or bring them to foster care uh, foster care um, some of you may have been a part of uh, the 60s or the 90s scoop with the indigenous and you're slowly starting to get reunited with family and starting to get back to your roots and starting to learn your own languages and stuff again as well is another message here with all of the threads of fate must mend is why I'm getting that is because you're mending uh, Catholicism and colonialism that had gone on and you're being reunited with um, with your family line and uh, yeah, and it's like where you came from, um, mending that bond, you know, mend the bond. I'm also hearing uh, mend the bond from, uh, from Brave. Uh, so some of you may be from Scotland or, ha or from up in that your, uh, you know, United Kingdom area. Uh, you don't have to be. You could be from the United States as well. Um, 
with the indigenous backgrounds as well as from brave with the scottish backgrounds um but mend the bond where it's like mending the bond is uh, the only reason why i brought to mind uh 35 oh is number five so number eight you are infinite and i love that how 35 comes together to make eight and the eels are like going around each other in like almost like an infinite loop almost like the infinity symbol um, for me it feels like that it also feels like a dna strand so some of you may be learning your ancestry with dna uh, but also realizing that your dna doesn't define on where you come from or who you are and it's not a percentage that matters you are always infinitely uh, loved by your ancestors a percentage doesn't matter to them they uh they feel that you are a hundred percent a part of them and that's mending the bond as well uh some of you may uh pertain to the threads of fates so some of you may like um uh follow along to the teachings of uh greek mythology and norse uh, uh deities as well with the fates um and this string of destiny so you are mending the string the thread of your destiny at this time because you had given up on yourself and you finally are starting to see why you didn't give up and why you didn't clock out and why you're still here and I think that's really beautiful thing to have mending for you, my lovely favored ones. Some of you might like Shamanji because as soon as I heard that, I heard it in someone's head saying, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Um, it's from like Dwayne Johnson from the newer ones. So you are creating a new adventure for yourself. Um, yeah, you're deciding to finish playing the game uh, all the way through because, you know, the simulation, the game, whatever. Um, you're deciding that you wanted to play it through. And um, you're also doing a lot of shadow work for yourself because, you know, there is no spiritual bypassing. So you are embracing your light and darker attributes which is healing your ancestral line as well and your D the DNA is being cleansed and activated through all of the work you're doing as well and also yeah with you going back and talking to yourself in kind matter and embracing uh, abundance your family line may have not had a lot of abundance in it and you're deciding to step up, up to the plate and being like, you know, we, you know, one of us needs to do it. One of us needs to take it home and you're going to be the one that takes it home. Oh, it's number 38, not page 38. Uh, what was page 38, though? I mean 35. I'm going to read it anyways because I accidentally turned to it. And I'm going to take it as a message and only read the page 35 as well on top of the extra message. But page 35 says, the universe reflects you, witnesses you. And loves you dearly pay attention as the entire world is your oracle uncanny and serendipity as serendipitous occurrences remind you that you matter that the universe is watching over you could it be as simple as a dragonfly or is a message from a spirit sparkling through its wings trust these symbolic moments they are sacred and personal. Some of you may have messages in the video that I did called A Little Dragonfly Told Me. If you feel called to, you are welcome to check it out. Um, I appreciate everyone who 
comes through and leaves comments and lets me know that you enjoy my videos and that they resonate and I'm just really grateful. Let me get a little bit closer. Spirits like get a little bit closer. I got something good to whisper in your ear and it's abundance. Essential meaning, being flexible, cultivating resilience and adaptability. There is no such thing as a situation that is perfectly set in one state of being. Absolutely, every second we create our reality. That's why we have free will. We go boop, did a boop, did a boop. <laughs> Nothing difficult and painful will remain that way forever, and nothing joyous and free will remain in the same and free will remain in the same expression forever either. Imagine the weave of uh, threads of fate in a tapestry of life. The threads must bend and move as they are pliable and supple, not meant to be rigid sticks. Life is the same way. It reminds me of the movie, well, actually both of them, Prince of Egypt and uh, Joseph, the King of Dreams. Yeah, Joseph, the King of Dreams, because uh, there was threading in both of them, but definitely brings up Egypt for me, so that can be significant for you as well. Your, life, your experience of life now requires you to be adaptable con to conditions and flexible as to how you respond to them. In this way, you build up a resistance to meeting life on life's terms while simultaneously continuing to pay attention to your dreams and desires for your most meaningful life. Seen this way, all of life is an experience. You are a story that is always in motion, changing, dancing with the dream weavers, surrendering your desires, allowing curiosity to lead you in the dark and uncharted territories ahead of you. Right now, release your rigid ideas of how you think you should be, how the, the form of things should be, and how another person should be. A lot of you may end up getting your like corners in your mouth a lot. Just because we go hard. <laughs> um, how another person should be. And allow a state of wonder and curiosity to lead you. Ask yourself and wonder, what might I discover here? Let go of your assumptions. Be present to this beautiful opportunity offered to you right now. Fate has brought you to this moment, but destiny will be what what you <laughs> but destiny will be what you make it to mean. I thought that was gonna end off a little different there, but that's okay. Yeah, fate has brought you to this moment, but destiny will be what you make it to mean. Sounds very like for a lot of you might enjoy um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's like Life is what you make it. 40, 42 asterisk signs. So yeah, a lot of you may be uh, around the Gaelic where the ga uh, Gaul used to be. Or a lot of you might speak Gaelic even, maybe. Um, but yeah, asterisk you always either brings up like coding for me. You could be coders. Because that's the wild card, or you're the wild card of the situation. You're the wild flower, the wild child of the situation. That could be extra confirmation for you as well. Uh, just that's what Asterix always brings up to me, is the fact that coding is the extra one. So you can put it anywhere you want. Uh, a lot of you could be coders. You could be beta testers for uh, the galaxy. And you, if that I've brought that up in a video before where... Uh, where you're beta testing certain areas by going to a certain area and bringing your frequency there, seeing what needs to be updated, and seeing if the server from where you were 
the area location could deal without you being in that area once you've like traveled away all of a sudden you're needed back so like doing grid work in certain areas is a, a way of it as well um so yeah remember to eat hydrate and have fun and i appreciate you all coming through for a video and yeah i'll see you in the next one everyone take care of yourselves all right bye